Most people think that forex trading is an easiest job. Probably that you can come to the market and make a quick bucks. But that's not the way. Forex trading actually is the hardest job in this world. I can assure you guys, I've been trading for the past five years and it has not been easy. During this time, guys, your mental is involved, the psychological part thing is involved, guys. This thing is quite stressful. You lose money, okay? But you need to know how you deal with those losses. So you can't come, you just can't, you can't come to the market and think, oh, I saw that the other guy on YouTube or Forex guru making money and you want to be like him. Guys, these people are highly experienced, okay? Now, for you to be good at something, let's talk about the doctors. For you to become a doctor, you need to study. It takes time for you to become a lawyer. It takes time, years, seven years plus, okay, before you start practicing law before you start practicing medicine so it's just like that so when you come to the forex market you need to get the right knowledge guys get the skills okay so one thing about me guys i like failing now when i started forex guys back in 2019 i never cared about the the the, the results no i never cared about the losses because i promised myself that i was ready to lose for the next six months as long as I was willing to learn. I did not know where I was going to learn or get the knowledge from, but I was ready to learn, okay? So that what that that is what kept me going. So I, of course, I did my homework, did my research, read so many articles, read, I mean, watched so many YouTube videos to get the knowledge. That is how hungry I was to get that knowledge. But then as time goes by, guys, it pays, okay? So it doesn't mean, okay, right now I have the knowledge. Forex market, the market keeps on changing basically every day. Let's say you are good in trend lines. Okay, three months later, the market changes. What will you do? The market's moving sideways. Okay, you are you are good. Okay, you are tra trading um, uh, support and resistance. And now the market changes three months later. What will you do? So you need to evolve. Every day the market changes, evolve, guys. Okay, so they say if you can't beat them, you join them. That's it. So there's also this guy I can't remember. He said now 90%. If the 90% people learn to sit on their hands, then I believe we are going to, you know, avoid so many unnecessary losses in the forex market. That means anytime you see a position, I'm very sure. Okay, the market has given you an inverse head and shoulder. The market has given you a double top. That's when oh, this is looking way too good. Let me press that buy button. Let me press that sell button. And then the market reverses on you. Now but that is called manipulation so forex is full of manipulation guys okay so you need to be smart enough to identify this kind of a manipulation okay so when you see this a double top just ask yourself why is this market giving me a double top in this type of a condition no way this is a, a manipulation or oh, yeah it's looking good okay but now you need to add more confidence and confidence guys i come to the market and then let me just say i start for for example i might start by analysis from the highest time frame let me say the weekly the daily the month and whichever then i'll break it down to the lowest time frame okay up to the one minute guys because i'm just adding more confidence it doesn't mean that when i go to the one minute i'm just trying to show off no i'm just trying to understand the market way too good okay i want i want to be in the right direction if the banks or the major biggest institutions are taking a buy i want to take a buy with them if they're taking a sale i want to take a sale with them okay so i want to understand what the market is doing until the last minute even if guys if trading me was offering us 50 seconds once one said i could have gone to that time frame too okay but i do go until the one minute and try to see what the market is doing that's when i you know make uh, make a decision on what i want to do okay i might let's say the daily is showing me a, a bullish structure then when i go to the four hour i see a bullish structure when i go to the one hour i see a bearish structure when i go to the 15 minutes i see a bullish structure so hey you should be confused guys so you need to make sure that everything is in line if the daily is talking about buys then uh, four hours talking about sales you need to make sure that the four hour changes to buy, the 15 minutes changes to buy, one hour changes to buy, and the one minute changes to buy. There's this scenario, guys. You take your end, let's say you're taking your entry of the 15 minutes. Okay. So at the 15 minutes, okay, you're trading break break of structures. The market just took a high or a low. But then you find yourself, okay, there's a pullback. Guys, I've been experiencing this quite a lot, and I understood that oh, I needed to go to the one minute because 
I took a buy, for example, when the market took that resistance or took that high. So when I go to the one minute, I'll find that, oh, the market is at a resistance. So I should expect a pullback. So the reason why one minute is that important, guys, you will understand that yo, you should be patient, wait for the market to give you a pullback based on the one minute that is when you execute, guys. Okay, trust your strategy, okay? So sometimes I take an entry, I mean a drawdown, guys, I don't care because I know at the end of the day, the market will just move and uh, the market will do whatever it wants, okay? Now, for you to avoid such kind of money, guys, just stay away from the market, okay? But I know a scenario when, oh, this market is going against me. Why, why have I taken a buy the market is selling? Anytime I take a sell, the market is buying. <laughs> That's the market, of course. So you need to understand that market has to breathe. Just like a human being, you can't just hold your breath. You need to breathe, okay? Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. That's the market, moves like a wave. Up, down, up, down, up, down, okay? Now, for a good entry strategy, guys, you need to target those bigger waves, the largest waves, okay? Now, for you, okay, let's just talk about surfing, okay? Now, the people who surf, guys, they, they just don't take the boards to those smaller waves, no way. Okay, so you look or wait for those bigger waves. That's when you start surfing. So that, 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 that's the same thing, guys. In Forex, you just need to wait for opportunities, patience, guys. Okay, it doesn't mean, I mean, it doesn't matter even if it takes three days, two days, you waiting or one week, just waiting for your setup to come to you. It doesn't, it doesn't cause anything, guys, for you to be patient. Now, if you are patient enough, guys, that's it. It's going to pay off. You are patient, let the market come to you. And yes, if the market comes to you, guys, anytime you're in profit, let's say you're in 10, pro, 10 pip profit, why do you want to close that trade? Wait for the market. If you waited for this market to come to you, like two days, three days, one week, and now 30 minutes later, you are in 10 pip profit, but you want to close your trade. You're crazy. Wait for the setup. Yes, take your entry. Let the trade cook. Let it play. And then, and then I, as it plays, guys, okay, I understand the reason why most people close their position quite early because they see pullbacks. Now, when I see pull, pull, pullbacks, I go to the lower time frame. Guys, after I make my entries based on the hourly, I do take my entries on the H1, I go to the lower time frame, 15. Now that is where I start managing my trades, okay? Managing my trades doesn't mean trailing stop loss or it just means you understand what the market is doing in the lower time frame. If you see funny structures, that's when you start managing your trades. If you see a pullback, you're calm because you know, you're, this is just a pullback. And now after this pullback, look for more position. That's called scaling in. Okay. So I, I need you guys to have this attitude of, I don't care. That's how I do. I don't care. I take trading like a game. Most people say, okay, take this or trade this trade, trading thing like a business. I take it like a game, guys. I don't care whatever happens. You see, even if you're playing Grand Theft, guys, if you're taken out, if you're dead or if you're wasted, there's no problem. You restart the game again or you restart the mission once again, okay? You won't die in real life. So if you take a loss in, in Forex, you won't die. Start over once again, guys, okay? I don't care of the outcome of this Forex thing. If it takes me out, let it do, okay? If it goes to my profit, well and good. So anytime I see the market's pulling back, I don't care because that's the market. That's the nature of the market. After an impulse, we expect a correction, okay? So even if I take my entry and I'm still in a drawdown, I don't care because at the end of the day, the market will just move to whichever direction it wants, okay? So as long as your risk management is good. So I believe you guys learned something from this short video and stay safe, guys. And adios, mi amigos. Peace.